Well, it's been a little bit too windy for me to go out there and take the big boat out or to go kayak fishing. So instead, I thought I'd try to figure out what has been making that weird noise that I hear. Since I've been living on a boat, every once in a while I'll hear the sound coming from under the hull. If you have headphones on, you may be able to hear it in this recording that I took. Well, I was starting to become suspicious that it was a creature that was making that noise and not something in my boat that was broken. I had been hearing them a lot over here by these rocks on the seawall, so I dropped a shrimp down to see if I could catch it. Almost immediately, a bunch of little mangrove snapper came out and tried to take that shrimp off of the hook. But that's not what I was after. There it is. That's the one with the big mouth. The terrible toadfish. These fish have some of the quickest muscles in all vertebrates, and they vibrate that muscle to make that noise, that croaking noise. They sound like toads, and they kind of look like toads, which is why I guess they're called toadfish. Some toadfish can be heard for miles away. They also have nasty mouths and venomous spines, so I treat them with caution. Turned out that you didn't have to look far here. In between the rocks, all over the place, there were toadfish. It's no wonder that I hear so many of them under the boat. I wonder how many people out there who live near or on the water have heard such noises and didn't know what they were. Well, I'll tell you, I'm really glad that I finally figured out what the heck was making that noise underneath my boat. And I'm very surprised to find out that such a small fish can have such a big mouth. Well, and a big voice. <laughs> I'm also sure that there's a lot of other things down there right under my nose that are really amazing and cool things that we're probably going to overlook while we're out there hunting for fish like redfish and snook and trout. And meantime, there's all kinds of other wonders right under our nose. As I discover them, I'll be more than happy to share them with you. And if you happen to know some secrets, leave a comment below about fish that are cool or interesting, birds. I mean, there's a lot of awesome things out there in the flats. Who knows, maybe if you take a kayak out there, you'll find some for yourself. Till then, tight lines. Catch you later.